this video I'm going to show you how to clean the aperture oil off of uh, a 5.8 centimeter or 58 millimeter 1.4. This is the uh, Nikkor S version. Um, first thing you want to do is undo these three screws along the um, the focus ring. I already uh, cleaned the aperture on this lens so um, this is more or less just showing you how to take the lens apart um, and I put everything back together very loosely just pull that off just so I can show you how to do this quickly um, then you have uh, this uh, plate to stop focus you need to pull this off there's this little tiny screw here you don't need to do that one the guy over here um, You'll, if you're gonna clean the, uh, like, let's say you have, if you have fungus in your, um, in the element, then you need to do undo that screw and spin this top ring off, um, and then spin that off. You can use, um, and there's three more screws along here you need to undo, but you, um, I use uh, tape and a lid, or you can use uh, a rubber gasket or something to spin the plate off. Um, so you don't damage it. I'm not actually cleaning the fungus. <laughs> There's no fungus in this one to clean, so. But, um, I'll kind of give you a look at that. So this entire case pulls out, pulls off to the out outer shell. You can leave that aside. And then, um, you got all the elements here. Um, first thing you want to undo is you need you absolutely need to have a spanner if you don't have one you need to buy one they're amazing tools um, I've already undone it but it's to uh, you got the holes right here and um, if you're doing the elements you do the same for these use a spanner they're super cheap for what they can do they're amazing tools side on screws use a spanner to start it though Otherwise, you'll crush the glass or do something goofy, and just you absolutely have to use um, a spanner. They're amazing. Um, and then this uh, opens and closes the aperture. You just want to undo this. Then there's three screws along here. You want to undo them. I normally have uh, separate little dishes for everything, but just, I just kind of decided to throw this video together quickly, so <laughs> I'm just separating them, just to make sure you know they're separated. Now before you pull this out, you need to take note of what's going on here. This uh, stops the uh, aperture from closing too far, and it sits on uh, the left side of this um, spring-loaded, um, this uh, stopper whatever and then you also have um, what we did undid earlier the um, what closes the aperture on this it's on the right hand side so just take note of that because you have to put it back together as soon as we pull this out the spring's going to eject and there it goes so to reset that when you put it back together you just spin it around here put the spring on there and you would hold it like so I hold it like that and put it back in on the right hand side of that remember that silver guy there but I'm not going to do that because you can rewind the video and see how it goes so then you pull this up and out make sure you note what side you don't flip it around it goes this way uh, you want to put it back the same way then now this guy will pull out And you'll want to clean this and the aperture blades with alcohol. Uh, I use a Q-tip very gently. Alcohol is super safe. It's very gentle, but it still gets rid of the oil. It's very good. Now, to get the aperture out, you want to be very careful. You don't want to bend these. Don't gouge them with the tool or anything. Try and just bump them out and try not to touch the element. There they go. One more. There it is. And uh, you would have noticed, you got to take note of all this. You can take photos of it, 